Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is no secret that I love luxury. I love the finer things in life and I haven't always been in a position to be able to enjoy that luxury lifestyle. Or so I thought. When I first started my personal development journey, I started to realize that you don't really need to have money to create luxury in your life. Many of you know my past story. I was a teenage runaway. I had nothing. I was on my own for a very long time. I lived in a metal shack in somebody's backyard. I will link the full story to that. The video will be down below in the description. But my point is I did not have an easy or blessed childhood. Uh, I was very much on my own and I was very, very poor. And I started to kind of work my way up the ladder and the more I started to earn more money, the more I felt like, okay, now I can finally start to enjoy some luxuries. But really I could have created these luxury experiences for myself without much money. I just didn't know how at the time. So while I was on my personal development journey, I became a lot more open-minded and started paying attention to what things gave me the same feeling as certain luxury experiences. Now, I understand everybody's version of luxury, everybody's definition of luxury is going to be different. Everybody's dream life is going to be different. Your definition of luxury could be amazing vacations where you're just traveling the world, nice handbags, fine jewelry, like me. Or your definition of luxury could be owning land and farm animals and having all this amazing space to yourself. Or maybe for you, it's having the ability to be a stay-at-home mom or stay-at-home dad and homeschool your kids and spend more time with them. Maybe your idea of buying a luxury item is buying a designer bag or a piece of jewelry from Harry Winston. Or buying a luxury item to you could be buying a John Deere tractor. Luxury is different for everyone, but I wanted to share my tips with you on how you can create luxury in your life regardless of your budget, so you can start enjoying those things now. Before we begin, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It would mean the absolute world to me. It's completely free to do and it helps my channel grow. Now let's get into the tips. My first tip is to do small things that create the feeling of abundance. So back when I used to do mindset and manifestation coaching, one of the tips that I would give the newcomers, people that were brand new to mindset, to personal development, was to do simple things that would give them a good feeling inside. So one of my very simple examples of this that everybody can do is buy some bougie water. Yep. So for example, if you're on a road trip or just driving or whatever, and you stop at a gas station, and you go to buy a bottle of water. Rather than buying the generic brand $1 bottle of water, what if you spent $3 and bought yourself a bottle of Fiji water or Evian water or whatever you prefer? It gives you this kind of good feeling when everybody else is walking around with like their gas station brand water, but you have like this luxurious bottle of Fiji water or Evian water. And just something about it gives you like this ooh feeling you literally created a luxury experience for yourself with three bucks. I used to do this for myself when I was a poor single mom with Starbucks. Once a week, I would go grocery shopping with my daughter and every week the treat to myself was a grande Starbucks drink and I would just bask in the luxury of my overpriced drink. Spending $6 on a drink that made me feel like a bougie soccer mom was the best $6 I could have spent because it just gave me a different energy. It gave me this abundant, luxurious energy, which therefore attracted more abundance and more luxury. It gave me confidence. It made me feel special. It made me feel like I was treating myself. Like, of course I can just afford this $6 overpriced drink because that's who I am, like the queen I am with my $6 luxury day. And these are just a couple of examples that worked for me. Like I said, it'll be different for everyone, but everybody can think of something under $10, some small purchase that isn't a necessity, but makes them feel good. Tip number two is surround yourself with beauty 
and make sure you pause to take it all in and be fully present in the moment. If you happen to be at an aesthetically pleasing restaurant or hotel or shopping center or park, stop for a moment and look around at how nice it is and just think to yourself, of course I would be here. It's beautiful. Of course this is the kind of environment that I put myself in and be fully present. Take pictures if you want and post it on Instagram. Take some selfies with beautiful things in the background. Just take a picture of the beautiful landscape and just enjoy being present in that moment surrounded by beauty. If you are in a really nice cafe outside on the patio and you have your cappuccino, that's another example of a very inexpensive, luxurious moment. For example, we have a cafe here in Las Vegas where the outside is just absolutely beautiful. It really looks like a mini Europe. And my husband and I will both go get a cappuccino, sit outside, and we'll be out there for like 45 minutes just talking, enjoying our coffee, enjoying the landscape, and just being in that nice environment. We don't rush, we don't feel like we need to drink our coffee and hurry up and leave. We just simply enjoy the beauty that is around us. Or if you have a nice park or museum nearby, go there. Most parks are free and you can just enjoy bringing a blanket and sitting in the grass and enjoying the nature and beauty around you. You can go for a hike and enjoy a beautiful forest. You can go to a museum and enjoy the beautiful paintings and artwork that is around you. And a lot of that artwork is worth thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars, sometimes millions of dollars, and you just get to be in its presence. And things like that can really uplift you. You can also go window shopping in luxury boutiques. Don't be afraid to go into Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Gucci, Hermes, whatever luxury brand speaks to you. Go in, try things on, look around. You don't have to buy anything. You're under no obligation to buy anything in there. I know a lot of people face this worthiness issue with stores like that, especially if you've never made a luxury purchase before, but think about it like this. If you were to walk into a Target or Walmart window shop and leave, are you going to feel the least bit guilty that you didn't buy something? No. So why give that power to any other brand? You can go in, look around, feel bougie, and leave. For all they know, you're a billionaire and nothing caught your eye that day. My next tip is spend time with the nice things you already own. So if you do own designer bags, if you do own some fine jewelry, spend some time with the nice things you have. If you have some gold rings in your jewelry box and you just don't wear them that often, take them out and wear them or take them out and clean them. Just spend time with the beautiful things that you own. I do that with my designer bags. I take them out every couple months and clean them all, condition the leather, shine up the hardware, and it just gives me a sense of luxury being around the nice things I already own without having to go and buy more nice things. My next tip, I lost track of what number we're on, is to enjoy aesthetically pleasing restaurants during their lunchtime specials. There are very nice restaurants who are a bit overpriced, but a lot of times these restaurants will have lunchtime specials that don't cost that much money. There is a restaurant in Town Square in Las Vegas. The name is escaping me right now, but inside the restaurant, it is so beautiful. And they have like a replica of the Coliseum, like inside the restaurant. It's gorgeous, very, very nice, very high end vibes. They have a lunch special there. My husband and I went and I think our entire bill was 40 bucks. That included drinks, an entree for him, an entree for me and dessert. We could have just as easily spent 40 bucks at a Chili's. So sometimes all you need to do is just put in that effort to go to a nice place and enjoy the same priced meal as a Chili's or an Olive Garden or whatever. My next tip is all around self-care. If you are not in the position right now to go anywhere, maybe funds are super, super tight, you can still create luxury at home pampering yourself. Take the time to draw yourself a nice warm bubble bath, pour a glass of wine or champagne or tea, whatever you want to drink, and just relax. If you want to take it up a notch, you can get yourself some nice body scrub, maybe a nice face mask, 
some kind of extra skin care to help elevate that experience and just relax like you are the queen you deserve to be pampered and you are just going to take some time to spoil yourself and relax in this nice warm bathtub while other people are out there stressed about whatever you are pampering yourself and relaxing and just being a lot of this comes down to just slowing down and having an appreciation for the beauty and luxury that already exists around you that you may be too busy to notice i think oftentimes we're so busy chasing bigger things that we forget to slow down and see all the things we've already accomplished all the nice things that we already own or all the small luxuries in life a favorite luxury of mine is travel which can be done on a big scale or on a small scale you can go and spend two weeks in europe or you can take a quick weekend getaway to somewhere close by. I also love the luxury of other experiences like live shows. I live in Vegas, we have live shows all the time. We can go and see a ballet or Cirque du Soleil, a comedian, just all kinds of shows. If you have something like that nearby, concerts, things like that, definitely partake in experiences. But I will say something that drives me crazy is when somebody buys themselves an item, something nice, something they want, and people criticize them for buying material things and they say things like, well, what's the point? You can't take it with you when you die. You're right, you can't take it with you, so you might as well enjoy them now. Which brings me to my last tip, which is don't ever feel guilty for buying yourself something that makes you feel good. It doesn't have to make sense to anybody else. Take the antique books behind me, for example. That doesn't make sense to a lot of other people collecting antique books and then just having them here in my bookshelf. But to me, it creates this feeling of luxury. It makes me feel like a Disney princess. I think they're pretty and I love them. I think it's a unique piece of decor in my home and I also appreciate the history behind each and every book. I think there's an amazing story to be told. It's fun for me to think about who owned them before, what kind of travels did these books go on, how come so many of them are in foreign languages and how did they end up in the US. Some of them have handwritten notes in them. I have found pressed flowers in them and to me that is fascinating. And can I take them with me when I go? No, but who cares? They make me happy now. I might as well enjoy them now while i can not to mention a lot of nice things that you buy yourself now you can always pass down to kids nieces nephews what have you but the point is oftentimes we don't give ourselves permission to spoil ourselves we don't give ourselves permission to enjoy the luxuries of life whether that's taking 30 minutes to relax in the bath or going out in our lunch break and sitting in a nice park or a nice restaurant or a nice cafe or buying ourselves the thing that we really want. Even when we can afford certain things, for whatever reason, we feel guilty about it. I can't tell you how many students I had when I was coaching that would feel so guilty about their Starbucks order because it would be six, seven, eight dollars. And they're like, ah, oh, it's overpriced. I'm like, coffee everywhere is overpriced. Where else can you find a cappuccino that is less than six bucks? It's almost always six bucks, no matter where you go, whether it's Starbucks or somewhere else. And even though these particular students of mine could absolutely afford it, they felt bad about it. And it's like, why? Why? If that six dollar drink makes you feel good and successful and luxurious and it gives you wealthy vibes, go for it. So here's a little homework for you. Take out a journal, take out the notes section in your phone, whatever way you like to write things down and ask yourself, first off, what makes me feel good? What are some little things that I can do that are free that make me feel luxurious? Now, what are some little things that cost less than $10, like a Fiji water, a Starbucks drink, a croissant? Little things, little purchases you can make that still give you that luxurious feeling. What are some things that you already own that you can spend a little bit more time with or use more often to give you a greater appreciation for the luxury you already have? And the last thing is, 
what is something that you haven't done for yourself or bought for yourself because you have had guilt around it, even though it's something that you could absolutely do right now, such as a purchase or booking a vacation. Journal on those things and take your answers, your answers from the free thing you can do, the cheap thing that you can do, the things you haven't given yourself permission to do, and pick one of those things and do them this week. And then next week, pick another thing and do it that week. Just let yourself have those moments of luxury in your life now. You don't have to wait for a special occasion. You don't have to wait until you reach some milestone. You can do it now because you can, because you deserve it and because you should, because you deserve to feel absolutely fabulous always. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was helpful. If you have any tips that you use to help give yourself some extra luxury in your life, I would love to know about it. Please feel free to leave it in the comments down below. I will have another video coming out soon on the mindset of being wealthy and why being wealthy is not a bad thing. And this video actually came up because of something another child said to my daughter at school. So fun story time coming your way soon. I hope you all have a fabulous and luxurious rest of your day, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.